Hi, my name is Hannah Reyes Morales and I'm really excited to be sharing with you what I know about photography and storytelling. Perspective is really important in telling a story. Every image that we see comes from a certain perspective and it's really important to understand what shapes yours. When I was little, I remember just being curious about, you know, what photography is. I started looking through our own family photo albums, wanted to contribute to it when I was little. It was always, you know, like I wanted to be a photographer. It was like wanting to be an astronaut for a kid from Manila. I guess when I was a kid, I didn't realize that something like that would be possible. But eventually when I went to uni, I took an elective for photography or photojournalism. And my professor at the time was a wire news photographer. And I begged to intern for him. And I thought that I would be, you know, like making coffee. And instead on my first day, and I arrived in white pants, he sent me to a coal yard and lent me all the equipment. I saw my photograph in The Guardian, The New York Times. Like I was just shocked that maybe, just maybe this was possible. When I was starting out, I was, you know, emulating the visual styles of people who wouldn't have come from the same place as I did. And so, of course, the photography didn't quite work. The world opens up to me differently because I am a woman. Back then, I was a girl. Once I understood that I had something to offer, that the world would open up to me in a very specific way, and that I would get access to things that maybe other people weren't able to access, I think that's when I really started feeling that I was a photographer and not just pretending. Understanding that you have your own perspective and that that has value in the world, that's when it starts to matter in photography. One of the things that I always ask people to do is to try to think about the stories that have shaped them and try to think about not only what those moments are, but what are the visuals of it? Are there little details that you can remember? Whether it's little elements, things that make you feel nostalgic, things that make you long for home. So for me, it's the way that the light falls in my house. As a photographer, I will then try to utilize those elements and bring them in to an image and see how that plays a part when you're trying to tell a story. Um, for example, when, when I'm working on a story that's meant to be hopeful, I try to observe you know, the kinds of light or the way that the light falls to make an image that might evoke that feeling in just me. And the magic of photography is when Things like light and shape and color and time just all intersect into a single moment. An exercise that I used to do was just to see, you know, how the light would fall on my hand at different times of day. And then looking at those images and see what that made me feel. What's wonderful about the time we live in now is that there's so much power in the tools that are smaller. And as a photographer, I've always valued being able to work with more discreet um, and more subtle tools. It's a powerful thing to understand how perspectives shape the kinds of stories that we hear, the kinds of stories that we tell. Understanding your roots, what your shared experiences are with your closest friends or your loved ones. Those are simple things that I think play an important part in understanding your own perspective. When it comes to photography in particular, you know, that entails so many different things, including the tools that you pick that reflect the kind of story that you want to tell. And I think most of all, most important is really that all of it just requires practice. It doesn't always mean that once you understand your perspective, you're immediately able to come up with the kinds of image that reflect it. That's something that you have to work towards and that's something that you have to build bit by bit. Another exercise is just observing gesture and photographing different kinds of gestures, facial expressions, body languages, of course, color, how those things add to an image. And then it's what 
um, Brisson calls the decisive moment where all of those things come together and then the photographer decides to take a picture. Xiaomi.